team basketball for having hand-eye coordination. All right, guys, so we're here for a night of improv comedy. Uh, I'm from the Crazy Monkeys, and thank you for coming out. But we're going to start off the show with our good friends from Ad Liberation. And they're actually coming up here. They, uh, they were actually built in a scientific lab, and I think that they have learned how to feel love and emotion. So I'm really concerned about them coming up here. Tim. <laughs> Tim would be a professional worm. Hi. Yeah, the hand eye coordination. <laughs> first, my name is Tim. I'm from Ad Liberation. Can we first give the Crazy Monkeys a round of applause for <laughs> the Thank you. So, like I said, my name's Tim. I'm from Ad Liberation, another improv comedy group here in the Lafayette area. Um, so, I'm going to start the show. And first, to start us off, I need an audience volunteer. So somebody raise your hand. Because we can't start until somebody comes up here. Right there. Perfect. Come on up here. Go right with us. You don't have to come up the front. It's, it's hard. You can okay. come right there. Oh, oh I might come up here, yeah. You don't have to go at the vault. What's your name? I'm Julia. This is Julia, everybody. I'm Julia. Okay, Julia, can you scream really loud? Don't do it yet. Oh. <laughs> yes. You can. Good. No. no. Which one? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so um, what I want you to do is think about something you did today. Okay. Don't tell me. Okay. I know you're about to. <laughs> so I can tell. Yeah. Now think about something like an object from that thing you did. Okay. You got it? It's hard. It's just you got it? In your yes. mind? You ready? Yeah. Okay, now here's what you're going to do. Okay. The audience in a few seconds, I don't know how many yet, okay. is going to get kind of amped up. That's awesome. We're going to be talking, you're going to. So. so when you think they're ready, okay. I want you to yell as loud as you can, okay. viva la whatever the thing you thought of was. Whatever the thing I thought of? Viva la that. Okay. Can you say the first part? So I know viva you. la. Okay, good, and then that. So as okay. loud as you can. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Now. You got it? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so just hold that and be ready. You'll know when to do it, whenever right. you think we're ready. All right. Now, what we're going to do, to get you guys kind of into it, is we're going to start chanting. And like all chants, it's going to get kind of like primal, loud, and fast, and we're all going to get really into it. I promise. Okay? So just start saying with me. We're going to go, V, va, la. V, va, la. V, va, la. V, va, la. Viva la! Get into it! Viva la! Viva la! Viva la! Are you ready? Viva la! Viva la! Viva la! Apples! All right. Thank you very much. Give us a round of applause. Um, here we are. This past weekend in a robot costume, so somebody thought, hey, why don't we do that for the thing and we'll be in the costume? Alright. So, uh, we're gonna tell you guys a story um, using the suggestion we got from, I forgot your name, but that's alright. And the suggestion was apples. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, we're gonna tell you a story, can I get friends you up, and let's get going. Gwyneth Paltrow's coming to town. I know. She's coming to town. We're getting all the seats ready. We're in a family. I know. Everything ready? Okay, this is the biggest thing that happened to this town since, uh, you know, the great uh, factory fire at 42. I know, we still got the stains from that. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> this it was. One. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to scrub that off. Yeah, there's still a, there's still a corn grease on that. Well, no, nothing takes out corn grease, then. Corn grease. Right. 
It's a slippery slope we got going there. It's cyclical. That's how the industry gets yeah. you. You got to buy one thing, and then you got to buy the same thing to fix the one thing's problem. And... I'm sh I'm sh do you think Gwyneth Paltrow's going to like her, her vat of corn grease we have for her? I know she's going to love it, babe. She's okay. going to love it. Mr. Bilson? Yes. Take a seat. Okay. I'll take a seat, too. That would be nice. This is awkward. A little bit. A little bit. Um, please don't fire me. I didn't mean to do it. I was framed. We found. It was a different guy. I mean, I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was blackmailed. It was my assistant. She told me to do it. It was all Just me. Just say you wanted the apple. I wanted the apple. <coughs> you know the refrigerator is public property, but the items in the refrigerator belong to each person. But I'd forgotten my lunch. And I was looking in the fridge thinking maybe I left a different day's lunch in the fridge. And there was the apple, and I didn't see the Sharpie marker name on the other side of it before I took a bite. And then at that point I thought, I'm already one bite in. That's it's what makes it so apple. hard. It's a zero tolerance policy when Please. it comes to food. Jerry, I can't do this anymore. You keep losing your jobs because you can't keep your hands off the stuff that ain't yours. I just like things that aren't mine. <laughs> We're not going to be able to pay our bills if you keep doing this. I will find another job with free stuff that I can take and I won't get fired for it, like maybe a candy store. I don't think that exists. With those little bins I, I still where you don't, don't have to, it's not bagged, I can just take little pieces throughout you, the day. You're still going to get caught. I can put paint on the cameras, it's perfect. The, the yeah, so uh, this is the bank vault. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is this my desk area here? Well, well yeah, we we like to keep personnel in the vault. Excellent. In, ca in case there is a robbery, oh, that we can just lock all personnel in the Inside. vault. How many times throughout the day can I leave and then come back and then leave again? Um, the vault. I don't see why that would be a problem. I mean, as long as your work's getting done, we would be... Oh, I am a great worker. Yeah, okay, well, let me show you your desk. What do I do? Um, okay, well, here's your desk. Bank now, stuff. Now, the problem is we didn't have enough, um, like, cases. So some of our customers, um, uh, valuables are in your desk drawers. In the drawers. <laughs> yeah. All of the passcodes are written in, alphabet in alphabetical order. Excellent. Because um, I am very forgetful. And I Mr. Parkinson? Yes. Uh, it's concerning Mr. Bilson. Yes, Mr. Bilson. We yeah. had a lot Great of employees. We had a lot of complaints about missing valuables. Are you trying to tell me you've been robbing the bank your entire tenure? Yeah, no, no. This banana. Bank? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm saying, Bill said you keep all the valuables in his desk drawer, and then they go missing, and he leaves a lot, and he comes back a lot. Are you jealous that we don't put as many valuables in your desk? <laughs> no, I'm happy with the amount of valuables in my desk. Show me that. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> because let me tell you, there are plenty of employees walking down that street that I just am ready to hire up as soon as we fire you. I, whoa. Um, there is a problem with Gwyneth. What's the problem? She's, she's, not coming. Coming. she's not coming, she's not coming. She's not coming? She's not coming. Look at the chairs out. Let's Somebody ate her apple out of the fridge. Who took her apple? She is all askew. That was the most precious apple in the orchard. Somebody kidnapped Gwyneth Baldrow's daughter! Also that happened. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I gotta call the sheriff. I think this means she's not gonna come to town. She's not coming. Yeah. Did you hear about Gwyneth Paltrow? No. Do you have anything to do with that, Jerry? Who? What is a Gwyneth Paltrow? She's missing an apple and a daughter. 
Do you have something to do with that? <laughs> no. Then what is this? That what is, is this? That is a daughter. <laughs> Doing in our house, you are Gary. holding it wrong. <laughs> what is it doing in our house, Jerry? I didn't see the sharpie on the other side of it, <laughs> and so I—I I was already—it was too late. Well, you need to fix this. You need to give it back. She was supposed to come to town. She's not doing it now because she doesn't have a daughter. Well, if she's not coming, then I guess we'll have to keep it. We can call it Penelope. Mrs. Paltrow, have a seat. <laughs> now, did you clearly label your daughter with a Sharpie? It was a blue Sharpie. Show me that. place blame on you, Miss Paltrow. Oh, hey, don't place blame. I, uh, but do you understand that some people are blue, orange, colorblind? You show me that. Can't you see that? I clearly labeled it. It's right here. Uh, I hate orange raspberry. <laughs> I can't be helpful, you know, towards people's disabilities. There's insurance for that. They can get glasses. No. There's surgeries. I don't believe what I'm hearing, Miss Paltrow. Are you saying you don't care about disabled people? No, I don't care about disabled people. Miss <laughs> uh, Paltrow? Yes? Uh, your new daughter has arrived. Let's see her. She's uh, <laughs> right here. See? We got her to your specifications. This arm's too long. Well, that, that won't that Cut won't it off stand. and just resell it. It's not how people work. <laughs> That's it, Mr. Percocet. I am, I am sick and tired of your whiny attitude. <sighs> You this is all fired. I have. You are fired. Clear out your desk. Ask what you want to do. Accept the valuables. <laughs> Can I just say goodbye? I was wondering if these valuables could be moved to my desk to consolidate our inventory. That's uh, Mr. Bilson. That is. The, this is why you are fired, and I am promoting. Mr. Bilson, to just, your position. Do we have any containers that I could... No, I'll just pocket them. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He's putting them in his pockets. Yeah. That because he feels they are the safest possible place so that the uh, smugglers can't he get even them. some of my supplies. <laughs> you were stealing office supplies? <laughs> they were at the office. Oh, Mr. P. Get out of my bank vault. <laughs> Jillian, I just don't know what to do anymore about Jerry. Well, I told you not to marry him. You know he's bringing pens home now? <laughs> Show me that. Why do we need so many pens? They run out of ink sometimes. Sometimes? I can't be bothered to go buy a million pens every time I need one. But we have five! There. Now, go back. <laughs> yeah, pens. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Tell him to take them back. Sell them on Craigslist. He refuses. He just hoards everything. Well, draw pictures. <laughs> draw pictures? Draw pictures. He's a great artist. We used to, you know, hang out at the art colony. No, you don't seem to understand my problem. He's stealing all this stuff. Yeah, stealing. It's five cents a pen. Are they uniballs? I love uniballs. He stole Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter. Oh, 
Oh, Mrs. Bill. Mrs. Bilson? Yeah? What? Why do you have a crate of 500 pens? New choice. Mrs. Bilson, why do you have a crate with Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter in it? New choice. <laughs> Mrs. Bilson, why do you have um, the Queen's jewels in, in this crate under your desk? Honey, I'm home. Oh, Mr. Boss. From the bank. Yes. My Mr. water ran out and I had to go buy some, but my wife is a thief, I think. <laughs> Miss Pulcho? Yes? They ran out of daughters, so they sent me. <laughs> Doesn't look like you're labeled. <laughs> you had that foot your whole life? As far as I know. You're gonna have to change it. Just change. I got some spares in the closet. <laughs> there is another problem with Gwyneth. She's she's coming. Okay. She's bringing her new Frankenstein daughter thing. I heard about that. I read about it. We can't have this. The public will go nuts. They will puke or something. Let's let's have a freak show. <laughs> oh, Did you guys hear? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Please don't do it, because if you do that, I'm right to the left. It's okay, it's okay. Cool. It's got you too? What's well, wrong? It's, it's a Frankenstein. It, it, what? Different, different. It's like know, bolts in the neck, or arms. All girl parts put together. It's a woman. <laughs> oh, <God>. Hello. <laughs> And it's not there. I'm Gwyneth Paltrow's son daughter. Well, pretty much. Get not... him. God, it's gonna touch me with those weird hands. And then I'm gonna get leprosy or something, and it's gonna haunt my dreams. And maybe I'll have one of those something. Do you want a neck No, I don't. Please, no. Oh, God. You really, you really tense. Really tense. Edgar Line, what are you doing? Don't what? I was, people. I'm sorry, I just have tried to get acclimated to the new perts. She really likes giving back massages. I do. They're great. Those hands I had put on special. <laughs> They're important. Show me that. Okay, they just came in from eBay. The line up. Oh, those would be great. Those would be great. They're from Eastern. Eastern Europe. You said this wouldn't hurt, right? Oh, no. No, it won't hurt me a bit. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Go back. <laughs> just... <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be Ed Edgerline. It's okay. I just want to make people happy. Right. Well, you save it for tonight's big show. Okay. You'll be out there. You'll be on the stage. The lights <laughs> will hit you. You're the lead freak. Right. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't want to sit down. Oh. Hello? Hi, Jillian. Hi. Thanks for coming to see me. Well, who else is going to see you? Jerry. Jerry? He, he kind of threw me under the bus. Well, I told you. He starts with pens, he moves on to other things. You told me to draw pictures! <laughs> yeah, draw pictures with the pens. I didn't tell him to keep moving. I was looking for your advice to get him to stop stealing. Now I'm the one in jail and he's still off stealing uh, puppies, probably. It's a man's Show me world. That. <laughs> Ooh, is this your puppy? Yeah, I, I, I just got it from the pet. <laughs> Think we got a case? <coughs> Take it before the judge? We just, we gotta get some evidence that it was him. We'll get the evidence. We'll get the evidence, Jillian. Okay. I'll be there for you. Let me start working on it on the outside. Okay, what, what should I do in here? Protect yourself. <laughs> Oh, Penelope. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fizzlebottoms. I am surrounded by friends. Uh, 
Mr. Bilson. Hello, I, Mr. Bus from the bank. <laughs> uh, Parkins. Mr. Parkins from the I, bank. Now, I don't, I don't want to question your methods. Welcome to my home. <laughs> it's love. I didn't realize you had a daughter. Oh, this is Penelope. Yes. <laughs> and a dog. Ah, this is not. That's Mr. Fizzlebottom. Mr. Fizzlebottom. Mr. Fizzlebottom. Mr. Fizzlebottom. I'm not here to question your methods, but you haven't been to work in two weeks. Well. It's, which would be fine, but we just had a string of robberies that we just cannot explain. <laughs> when would you like me back? It, it, well, it is, um... Can Mr. Fizzlebottoms come? How could I say no to Mr. Fizzlebottoms? <laughs> Bob? Yes? I'm getting kind of nervous. Of what? The show. Oh, it'll be okay. People are going to make fun of me. No one makes fun of you. Every I day. I know, and it hurts. Every day. <laughs> it's okay. That's why I sent you to public school. You can use the door. Hold on. line. Get the door. That's great. That's great. Reverse. <laughs> Forward. Reverse. Forward. Reverse. Forward. That's a Reverse. <laughs> Forward. Hello. Hi. Um, is this the beat to you? You too. What strong hands you have. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so Eastern European? Yeah. Uh, oh. Those are the best uh, hands from back massage. Yeah, oh, oh. It's 35 an hour. Debit. Credit. Head your line, take him in the back. <laughs> well, I am here for work. I have my daughter and I have my puppy. Okay, now. So where should I put um, them? All the valuables from your desk have been stolen. Oh, no. no. Um, also, that list I gave you, uh, that alphabetized them, but it also, on the back, put them in order of most valuable to least. Ah, that will the, help somehow. Well, the most valuable, the most valuables on that list are gone, and- Oh, um, no. So are the least valuables <laughs> um, the list that was, but I just, I can't explain. Mr. Visual Buzz time. <laughs> How will I work without my pens? They were stolen. Oh my goodness. They were stolen. Now, when I was at your house, I noticed that vat of 500 pens. Yes. Um, my wife is a thief. Oh, I'm, I am so insensitive. I probably asked you to come back to work too soon. Excuse what? me, I, I need to... Hey, that's my dog, George! You're the bastard that oh. stole my dog! <laughs> now that's... Sir! Was... Now, this dog is Mr. Fizzlebottom. No, that's George Prudhon. I am this close to firing you. No, he worked at his one of the pots in my He's body. He's someone before. Get out of my bank. I'll take my 68 cents elsewhere. Thanks for coming, other freak. Are you ready for the show? Get your own routine. Okay. Okay? I'm ready. Alright, let's practice it. <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> Forward! <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> Forward, slow motion! <laughs> it's gonna be Oh. So, this is a private dressing room. So, I was thinking uh, our ending move should be something like this. I think it'll work out really nicely. Scene! <laughs> Thanks guys, uh, that was our show. Again, we are at Liberation. Um, this is Matt, 
Katie, Mike, and Zach, they're hiding for some reason. Um, quick note before we the crazy monkeys come back up here and talk about some other stuff. Um, we are having auditions next weekend, so if you'd like to do what we do, um, next Saturday in Lily, we're having auditions. There's flyers out, uh, so those if you're interested. So um, you should, if you want. So uh, I think Logan's going to come back up and get us off. Or do something. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do right now is we're going to do a couple of games with Ad Liberation. So the first game that we're going to do is Sex is Light. All right. The way this game is played is we're going to get some uh, suggestions for things, and then we're going to make them to sex. Jokes. <laughs> it's very highbrow. All right. So, can we have a suggestion of the last thing you bought at Walmart? Marbles? I heard marbles. All right. Uh, sex is like marbles because I have lost mine. <laughs> sex is like marbles because I only have one shooter ball. because I always used to do it as a kid. <laughs> Sex is like marbles, because you have to flick it a lot for it to go anywhere. <laughs> Sex is like marbles, because my friends always got upset when their cat's eye went missing. <laughs> okay. Sex is like marbles, because you have to shoot it into the circle. <laughs> Sex is like marbles, because I can fit so many in my mouth. Sex is like marbles, because the more you play with your friends, the better you become. Nice. All right, can we have another suggestion? Don't say it's not like North Korea. Yeah, sex is like North Korea. Sex is like North Korea, because it's the major importer of fine burgundy. See, I don't get it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think sex is like North Korea. All right. Sex is like North Korea, because it involves a tiny angry man. <laughs> Can we have a suggestion for something in your dentures. kitchen? Dentures. Dentures. All right, dentures. All right. Go for it, Tom. Sex is like dentures, because it's better without them. <laughs> Sex is like dentures, because my grandma's always screaming to my grandpa, Take it out of your mouth! <laughs> Because every time I take it out of my mouth, it's all slimy. <laughs> Sex, um, <laughs> Sex is like dentures because if you want it to stick, you put glue on it. I don't know. Um. Sex is like dentures because first you get it wet and then you get it sticky. <laughs> Sex is like dentures, because my dentist always recommends it. <laughs> Good dentist. Sex is like dentures, because if you let it sit overnight, it tastes better when you put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sex is like dentures, because I put it in a cup while I sleep. <laughs> These are facts. Sex is like dentures because I unfortunately find evidence of both at my parents' house. <laughs> All right, uh, we have another thing that sex is like. Okay, uh, I heard hair straightener. So this is like a hair straightener. Sex is like a hair straightener because sometimes if you do it wrong, it really burns. <laughs> sex is like a hair straightener because when you see smoke, you're doing it right. <laughs> a hair straightener because I used it more in high school. Uh, sex is like a hair straightener because it makes girls look better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more.
more thing that sex is like? Oreos. I heard Oreos. <laughs> okay, you're an okay. Sex is like oh, yeah. Sex is like urinal cakes, cause they're delicious! <laughs> Se oh, okay. Sex is like a urinal cake, cause you piss all over it. <laughs> Some of you might like that, I don't know! Sex is like urinal cake, cause my retarded brother is always collecting it. <laughs> Sex is like a urinal cake, because I need a new one after a dozen uses. <laughs> Sex is like a urinal cake because you can always find it in a men's bathroom. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> Sex is like a urinal cake because it's always pink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That is sex is like. Okay. The next game we're going to be doing, we're going to get a little in touch with our rap side. So. All right. The next game we're playing is Beastie Rap. We're gonna have some challengers from AdLib coming up here testing their rap abilities with us. So, what we're gonna do is get some suggestions for words from you guys, and we're gonna be saying rhyme sentences and finishing each other's sentences. It's pretty tough, especially when you're white. No offense, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got case here. Uh, <laughs> we do? <laughs> okay. We hey, have, uh, you probably feel like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I do. No. All right. Can we have a one-syllable word? Steve. Steve. All right. Steve. Starting? I'll start. Okay. It's the name of a guy. It is Steve. It's on my shirt. It is a Steve. Don't cry at a funeral. Please don't. Breathe. But I am grieving, I... Yeah. Alright, can we have another one simple word? Pop! Pop! Take the top and then you pop! I'm a rabbit and I pop! Clean the floor with the mop! I'm gonna go and flop! It's the tip, it is the top! Ah, shut up! up. <laughs> Alright, another one word to the discussion. Hair! Hair! I top of my head, it is my hair! He takes it off with care! Wonder what I'm gonna wear. A ghost gave me a great big scare. Kindergarten, I learned to share. Last name Simpson, first name Bart. Oh. Oh. I'd like to point out half the monkey said shark. Okay. <laughs> All right, another one word, not one simple suggestion. Yeah. Cat. Cat. Yeah. Cat. It's not a dog, it is a cat. When it poops, it leaves behind. Yeah. Done, I call it a cat. <laughs> it is not this, but it is that. that. Wipe my feet on the mat. Oh, something falls, it goes splat. <laughs> Zipping around, it is a bat. <laughs> Zipping about, about the bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, rap fit. Uh, okay. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Okay, can we have a 
suggestion no. really quick for a relationship between the two of them. Barbers. Barbers. Currently dating barbers. <laughs> Do you want to cut my hair or should I cut your hair? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll let you go first because you're the one that just got the brand new shears. Go first cutting or go first getting cut? <laughs> you, you use your new shears. Ooh, you, okay. Okay. You got them for so, me for Christmas. So I'll, They're ruby. I'll sit right here. Oh, don't, don't forget the, the thing. Okay. I, I won't forget. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Mommy! Oh my God. I made a boom boom! I made a boom boom! Oh, I made a boom boom. Oh my God. The first boom boom! Oh, that boom boom! <laughs> Get the school. Right. Oh. Ah. Freeze! <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm here for you. It tasted like corn, but not I, corn. What the afterworld tastes like? Yeah. Like. Like hominy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that those are the souls. Yeah. Freeze. Sorry. Can we keep him, Dad, please? Well, I don't please. know. Why are you so cute? I mean, please. I don't want to be the have to be the one to walk him and feed him oh, and bathe him. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Walter! Yeah. Walter! What are you doing? No! I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for visiting, Dad. Oh, no problem, Dad. I love you. Well, thanks for visiting. <laughs> no problem, Dad. Give me a hug. Okay. Oh, look. It's it's that hot bee that was telling me. Oh, about man. It. Man, down the hallway. Man, where's the hot babes for me? I, I thought you were head. Oh, yeah. My corn up there. You're not getting that corn. I'm going to shuck that corn was f faster than you are. I'm going to shuck the shit out of that corn. <laughs> no, 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 no. I shuck the corn. <clears throat> now who's going to be Dad's favorite, huh? Well, mine because I actually uh, paid for all this grocery. You just freeze. <laughs> Good morning, you girl. Do you want to be friends? It's it's really large. I'll take that. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. Here you go. Here you go, you're safe now. I I know I accidentally proposed to the wrong person, but you don't have to leave. You don't have to get upset. I don't think I'm ready for this place. No, no. <laughs> Well, I can only afford one. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hi, Carlos. But they, just where there's one, there's a bunch. <laughs> hey, what do you say? How about we, how about we have a life together? See, see, freeze. <laughs> We're going down with the ship. Oh! <laughs> I'm pulling this as so hard as I can. <laughs> All right, boys, line up. Everybody in line. Like, focus, wait. 
It's not that hard, just in a line. Just a line. Next to each other. This is shoveling class. You are all shovelers. You should know how to at least line up. I brought my own shovel. I, f I left it behind. No, that's mine. Nice. I walked up and stop it, all of you. You all have provided shovels. Oh. Nothing with sparkles on them. Oh, that's my shovel. I. Just give me That's my sparkle Here, and you here, and you here, and here, and here, now damn it! Crooked. Freeze. <laughs> yep, I can tell after being in the lineup that that was the one that did it. <laughs> I don't want to have this discussion with you in front of all your friends. What? <laughs> have you seen my new watch? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I go everywhere. We've been friends since the first grade. I know. If anything bad were to happen to him, I would personally slaughter whoever <laughs> did that. If anyone got no, in between him and us, you don't need I mean, horrible things. That's now. okay. You don't need Great. to. How did mom ever push us through? Uh, <laughs> oh, I were like a gazillion pounds. Right? I, uh, I got like Logistically, six, it's like, just mind boggling. Right? Uh, I'm gonna go start the kitchen up, okay? Alright, All right, right, let's, let's go. go. So we've been the crazy monkeys. Tim, come up here. All right, this is <laughs> Ad Liberation, and we're kind of like the opposite colors. Yeah. All right. I'm up. Woo! So this is my dress show.